All right, welcome back. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Talk of the Sports Podcast. And uh, as always, guys, we appreciate you for listening. Please, please, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching us on YouTube. Um, follow us on all major streaming platforms for the podcast. Um, I use Apple Podcasts, so I'm always going to put them out up front because I'm team Apple over here. Um, I don't know what these guys use. I think they use Spotify or whatever. I'm but, sorry. Hey. We're on everything, though. We're on everything. Whatever you like to use, we're there. Yeah, big facts, big facts. Um, and while you're giving us that follow or subscribe, leave us a rating on Jeez. the streaming platforms and some comments on YouTube because they will always, always looking for comments, always looking for your opinion to uh, uh, on things we can improve and all that good stuff. Also, uh, follow our um, social media handle, specifically the Twitter. Shegs, you have that memorized. Talkative sports, I believe. Uh, talkative sports. There you go, guys. Talk of the sports is the Twitter. Now, um, something we're going to be testing out as this season comes to an end this year is some live streaming episodes. Now, where we're going to be putting the link is most likely on the uh, Twitter, most likely. That's why I'm telling you guys, go follow. Um, we may be able to put the link on YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, well, it will show up as a new post, except it won't be a new post. It will just be the link to the I can live stream. Know um yep. oh yeah and, you, and if you boom on youtube if you click that bell um you'll be notified whenever we drop so you'll be notified whenever we drop that live stream link so you can come and pull up and view the live stream um as i said we'll be testing it out i'm not too sure how many times we'll test it out but if you follow us on the channels i told you to follow us on and do what i told you just do you will be on top of things when we do it you heard me you feel me all, all right. right and on that note how you guys feeling it's been a good week huh Oh, it has been a good week. And yes, indeed. Yeah, yes, indeed. it was a opposite week in last week. So it was yeah. such a good week. I had, I had to bust out the, the throwback jersey. I, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a hypocrite. I don't retire the, the other one. But I didn't say I retired this one, though. But I retired the main one. So, you know, it's, it's giving throwbacks to better times. So I, I had to bust it out. In fact, I might I didn't, bust out the flag, but you know, is is we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Let, let's keep let's keep it. Pushing. I didn't put out. I didn't put it in the agenda, but I, I do have one question I'm going to ask. Um, considering everything, and and since I have been the sole uh person on this island that I've been fighting for, mm. and looking at um uh, table positions and and what is yet to be had with the with what's games are remaining in the season i think <clears throat> not i think i predict that by the end of the season some apologies may be in order but we 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 will get to that when we get to that you can scrunch your face up all you want when we get to this when we get to it you will see that it's just nothing but facts that i'm speaking with. before that we had um champions league this week the second legs of the quarterfinals um we do know our finals matchup um, it's going to be Real Madrid versus Borussia Dortmund. Uh, Marco Royce is uh, leaving Borussia Dortmund at the end of the season. And um, quick fun fact, if you didn't know, for all our soccer fans out there, for our Borussia fans will definitely enjoy this note, um, this little nugget. Um, the first season that Marco Royce spent at Borussia Dortmund, they did make to a UCL final, which they lost. So on his final season, he has the opportunity to walk, right? You're in quote. I believe so. Now with his final season, he has the opportunity to write that wrong. Will he do it? Shall he do it? We'll discuss when we get to that. But before that, um, let's talk about the game today, guys. Um, we'll get to the Dortmund game because that game was a bit more straightforward. But this one, this one was, this one was, this one was something. It was a classic Real Madrid game. Classic Los Blancos Champions League game. Champions. So Cla before, <laughs> so before, so before we talk about you know the specifics of the game, let's let's just talk about the elephant in the room, right? At the end of the game, after Real Madrid made their phenomenal comeback, Bayern did have an opportunity, 
and did look like they equalized to send the game to extra time. However, the linesman called the game off. Now, after the game, the linesman did delict. Um, this was during his post match. He said that he spoke to the linesman, and the linesman did say he made um, a mistake. Um, he should have, you know, let let allowed let the allow play to go on. There you go. Um, but you know, he ended the game. And so I say this to you. Well, I ask this to you rather. Were Bayern robbed a chance to come back in this game? Well, first of all, I I'll say no, no, because um, first of all, they should have won that game. Um, but let me get back to to the to the offside call. <clears throat> you you gotta expect that sort of thing happening when you're playing Real Madrid. Wait, wait, hold on. I don't think it was offside. I think he just deaded the deaded no, the no, game. He didn't, he, the referee stopped the play. And they kept playing, but it was so long after, like the referee blew the whistle that he scored, that there was no, there was no allowing the goal to stand, and it just would not. It didn't make sense because Real Madrid players had stopped playing, and he kept going and he scored. So no, they weren't robbed because of that, um, because at the end of the day, they robbed themselves. Thomas Tuchel had a perfect game plan. I had my draft ready. I was typing in the group chat. I was ready to say, perfect Thomas Tuchel masterclass. Absorb pressure. Magnificent goalkeeping from your world-class goalkeeper. And he always has one of those. He, in, in, everywhere he's gone, it's always had a world-class goalkeeper saving you. And then you hit them on the counter. You score. And then you keep it. Many. Exactly. And then you keep it, you you manage the game. He he had it planned perfectly. He took off Harry Kane, you know, put on some defenders to to manage help manage the one zero. And then here you go with Manuel Neuer, legend of goalkeeping, top five goalkeepers of all time, easily does that. And after that, there was no coming back. And I don't know who. Mm -hmm. Um, the the Bayern fans are blaming, but their legend let them down. Thirty eight year old making such magnificent saves, magnificent saves that probably only two or three other people on the planet can make consecutively. I don't even know can anybody else do what Newer did consecutively with all those saves, and then the easiest one of them all. I get the ball that bounced in front of him, but he's done. He saved that same shot so many times, but this one he fumbles. I don't know if it's old age. I don't know if he has CTE from 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 punching the ball and it hitting his head on the bar too many times. But that was that was like I am so disappointed. I I, I I'm just like, how the hell did they let this slip? Like the like the first leg. How the hell did they let this slip? And this, like, first leg is understandable. It's some dude named Kim from South Korea, first season at Bayern. I can understand that. He's not even supposed to be playing in the first place. But Noor spilling that ball, allowing them to equalize. And then, of course, Real Madrid, they're at home. They have the fans on their side. Like, the loud, burner ball, loud as hell. There was no coming back from that, especially after Tuchel has already taken their, their, their main ghost scoring thread off like if, if newer doesn't do that mistake it's an all german german final at, at wembley i already had like the memes lining up like the germans are at, in, in england um i don't want to go there again like last episode you know i i had the memes like maybe maybe we're the farmers in the premier league we got the germans pulling up to, to wembley you know but now i had to delete all of those drafts i'm so disappointed you know i had them winning it's just tough. Then their game plan, it worked. It worked perfectly. It's just like one mistake. One mistake from possibly the most experienced player on the pitch out of everybody there. Was it like, okay, maybe Tony Cruz or maybe Modric is, uh, are older than Newer. I have to go double check. But Newer making that mistake, they're making so many outstanding saves post pushing it out like the second shot after it hit the post and and they shot 
it's like it's it's devastating. I haven't I haven't looked to like because you know I be working, so I haven't looked at to see like what the reaction is from Bayern fans, how they're taking it. But it it just feels like such like a like a gut punch, like a like you know when you get hit and you know that you're done, you can't stand. It. It's just such a disappointing end to their season, and you know. Especially after all the cups they got knocked out of, um, Leverkusen going unbeaten still. I think Leverkusen are one game away from be- beating the European record for going unbeaten. No, I think they've already done it. They've already done it. I mean, they, yeah. They're the treble this season? Yeah, and they're still on, on pace. Yeah, they're, on, the they're on for the treble, yeah. Yeah, they're still in the cup. They're still they're unbeaten in everything. And, and for Bayern... Going, losing that way when in both legs they had full control is just oh my god like well honestly in the grand scheme of things i only care so much because it's too cool let's say it was some other coach i'll say yeah byron deserved that Let, let's let's so, give them the trophy of season real quick so they can humble themselves so here's here's where i here's where i have to pull it in actually before i go I, my, my my point's actually kind of lengthy um, but if if I were to surmise, Neuer takes takes much of it for you. Yeah, yeah. Neuer, if if Neuer does, if Neuer catches that ball, I would have caught that ball. I I, I started playing football um, um from goalie. I would have caught that ball. I have a thousand percent. You you caught that ball a thousand times, Neuer. Okay, Zach. Catch that well, ball yeah. in eighty fifth minute. It's over. <laughs> You should have won it. You have nobody else to blame. Because you had you had the lead with five minutes left. You had the lead with five minutes left. Worse, it goes to overtime. At worst, it goes to extra time, and you okay, you losing penalties. All they right. were not. They were not conceding. They were you not should... conceding until he made that mistake. They were not right, and, and that's Look. that's that's why I'm saying that they they should have. They should have won this game, um, just for the simple fact that, um, yeah, you can you can blame the goalie, yeah, whatever. But there were two goals, not both of the goals were playing. Were um, oh, yeah. oh no, goal. no, no, no! It, it it's just like a hypothetical if I know it's a hypothetical if, but that mistake set set the stage for them to lose that way. Right. I don't I don't think that's what set the stage, but I'll get to that on my point. Go ahead, Zach. What I'm saying is. That goal didn't lose a game for them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Because, yes, you're right. It set the stage up, but you're still in the moment. You can still change your destiny. You don't have to give up another goal. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Like, I understand you're saying, oh, Bernabeu, oh, the fans are going free. You don't have to give up another goal. It's still in your hands. It's still like, at the end of the Still in your hands. No, no, no. I, I, I don't, I don't agree. I don't, I don't agree with that at all. It was, it was not in their hands after they conceded that goal. It was all Real Madrid from that point on. It, it, there was no coming back from that. Like literally, the game plan was to win one zero. That was it, and they executed until the goalkeeper made a mistake. There was no. Also, even if if we want to go in, if if somebody wants to say they were robbed, of course, yeah. Real Madrid paid the refs. They're at home. There's no way. <laughs> nah. It, the game plan was for Newer not to make a mistake and to continue making those miraculous saves. When Chelsea did it with Tuchel, did Mendy make a, a, a crucial mistake in the 85 minute? We would have lost. We would have lost if Mendy did the same thing. I'm saying, like, the momentum to completely switched. The momentum All completely right. switched. And their main goal scoring threat was off the pitch. They had no way of coming back from that. I'm Even if they had kept it 1-1. Even if they had kept it 1-1. Now you don't have Harry Kane to, to, to battle in extra time. You don't have him to take a penalty that he's definitely going to score. Beautiful. That's okay. what I was going to get to. No, right. That, all, all I'm saying is just my rebuttal is it's still 1-1. Like, you can say all that. You can go up. You can come down. It's still 1-1. No, 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 but that was the game plan. Let, let me see what minute they took off Harry Kane at. 
No, that's what I'm going to get to. Don't worry about that. I got that. This and, and so I agree with you. I agree with you, Zach. There was they could they still could have came back and won this game, but I believe that they were not in position to do so due to the nature of the players that were out there on the pitch at that time. And the players that were out there at the pitch at that time were only out there on the pitch at that time due to Thomas Tuchel. And I believe it was his substitutions that cost Bayern this game. Now, there was one substitution that absolutely worked out. Instead of playing Alfonso Davies at left back, he kept, he brought him on for Serge Canabri and he played left um, left wing, which ultimately came on and gave you the goal that really kicked things off. Now, where his substitution patterns were the mistake, at the um, so all let's see, oh boom, so who was this one? All right, so at the seventieth, at the seventy-sixth minute, he took off Leroy Sané and brought on Kim Min Jae. Now, after the performance that Kim Min Jae had in the first leg, he should have just been there for emergency help. The only way Kim Min Jae is seen any minutes on the pitch is because somebody broke his leg or somebody put, pulled his hamstring or somebody somebody is is injured and you have to 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 replace him and he's your best net he's the next best option oh my God. that was mistake that was mistake number one mistake number two taking off um jamal musiala for bringing on and bringing on thomas muller now if you wanted to i'm um, now the issue isn't bringing on thomas muller the issue is taking off Jam jamal musiala i think instead of taking off Leo Sane for Kim Min Jae, you could have taken off Leo Sane for um, Thomas Muller to keep Jamal Musiala and Thomas Muller there um, and, and get a little bit more control, kind of get more offensive and see if you could add one more goal while the momentum was still on your end. Because at the time, you were up 1 0. But no, that's not what you did. So you brought off, at, but so, but this one, I'm not too mad at this one. Again, I'm only mad because of, you know, the person that he had, that he took off. This is really a like for like switch, but he completely nullified the like for like switch because of what he did in the very next minute, the 85th minute, taking off Harry Kane for Chupo Moting. Now, <sighs> Chupo Moting, Zach knows the, <laughs> the wonder. The guy, the guy has been <laughs> wonderful. He's been wonderful for for. for he, he's been wonderful. He's been great. <laughs> he's, been, he's been great. But like, but like, there's a reason you went on and got Harry Kane. You had a whole season of Chupo Moting and you had, you know, Saudi Omani there with you. Now, all respect to Saudi Omani, he's playing in Saudi Arabia right now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're, you're starting. You're it's front. I'm, I'm, I said all respect. I said all respect. No disrespect. But your front. But that's what the situation is. Is two thirds of your attacking lineup for, that you spent last season in is gone. One of which is in Saudi Arabia, and the other one was relegated to a bench role because you replaced him with Harry Kane, because you felt the need to replace him. And upgrade at that position. Well, so why at that moment in a high high priority game as this is that you take off Harry Kane and you bring him on? Harry Kane's playing ninety minutes. I do get. There's a lot of politics in 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 money going from Liverpool to uh, Bayern. Uh, I don't care Bayern. about that. That was just an example. Now. Yeah. Okay, but I I do agree taking off Kane. Especially against Real Madrid, I, I think that 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 was definitely a mistake. He has to play ninety minutes. There was, a, there was yeah, I, was like, I cannot ignore the greatest mistake that was made on the pitch, which is Noor doing something he's done a thousand. But here's what I'm saying. But here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Noor was, was facing pressure, but it was controlled pressure beforehand. All these substitutions did was just open the floodgates. My guy threw in Kim Min Jae. The goal came. Both goals came from Kim Min Jae's side. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all are not making bad points. But all I'm saying is, Harry Kane substitution. He didn't lose in the game. Uh, what's they weren't. 
They had no. nothing going forward, though. They didn't lose in the game. So even after this so-called downward spiral from this first goal from Neuer's also crazy out of character mistake, it's still one one. Bro, they it's scored one zero. That's how they scored. Bro, they if scored. They scored. They scored. Threatened <laughs> off the pitch. Zach, you have to understand something. Zach, you have to understand something. The time difference between both Real Madrid goals is only two minutes. That's what I'm saying. You can't defend for two minutes? And no, I you cannot because you're already shell-shocked. Your <laughs> game plan has been thrown out the window. You can't blame that on Tuchel. Like, he made the substitution that got them ahead. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying he made the substitution goal. that... that... They, they give up a goal... So you just forget how to play soccer and give up another goal and lose? That's they gave up the goal. They gave the goal after his substitutions. The momentum shifts into Madrid's shift. This is on the players on the pitch because at the end of the day, Neuer didn't lose them. That goal didn't lose in the game. It only tied it up. You could say momentum switch now, but it's a minute. You can't defend for one minute. If if it was ten minutes, okay, but it's one you, minute. No, That's you no, you you cannot you cannot against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu when you've made a mistake that that messes up the entire game plan. That is what lost them the game. And coupled with the substitutions, let's say, let's say, let's you look 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 Zach. Let's, look Zach Zach, hear me out, hear me out. Let's say Tuko didn't make any substitutions. They win that game, easy. They win the game, and easy. And makes that mistake. They still, they still win the game. They still win that game. They still win the game. But because of an indiv- they lost that game because of an individual mistake. Nah, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. If we step, wait, 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 wait. Substitutions and the substitutions. I was about to say. I was about to he say. He made the substitutions thinking that he, he he could not calculate for that individual mistake. That is a I one mean, out of a thousand chance that he knew he would make that mistake. Wait, wait, no, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. The substitutions. They lose them the game. It did not, that was not the goal that lost them the game. It was a second goal, not marking up on your man. Very simple. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. If you lose 4-0, of course the fourth goal isn't the one that loses you the game. It's the one that, that puts, puts you up 1-0. Like, that doesn't really matter. We're talking about the entire game. We have to consider everything. Okay, okay, so what, what lost them the game? What they lost them the game? They lost the game in the last two minutes, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, but what specifically lost them the game? No, I'm not saying it's 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 any one thing, but if, if, you, if you want to say what literally lost them the game, not marking up on Jose Lu on the backside. So that's what I'm saying. I am saying... <laughs> <laughs> I am saying, I am saying, like, I, but, <laughs> cool boy. but, here, but here's what I'm He's a striker. Maybe someone should mark up on it. No. So come on. You can't blame Tuchel for that. No. I, I can blame Tuchel because the sub, the guys he subbed on to, to give himself a bit more defensive help were the ones that made the mistake and did not mark. The so same, the I, same mistakes that were made, the same mistakes that were made in the first leg with the goals, a lot uh, led to the pressure that Nora faced, which led to Nora's mistake, which led to now you know, the momentum being on Real Madrid's side. But what about Alfonso Davis' goal? So that we're not going to give any. So that again, uh, again, I said, I gave credit. I said, I gave credit. I started off by saying, I started off by saying, Alfonso Davis. I will give him credit for because the only good substitution he made was switching off Jerry's Canabry for Alfonso Davies, putting Alfonso Davies at the left wing and allowing him to left mid actually, and allowing him to to you know be free there and and run at defenders, and that led to the goal. Now I said where the first mistake was was taking off Leroy Sané for Kim Min Jae after seeing the performance that Kim Min Jae put in the first leg. All you because uh, and the two goals came from his side that he was defending. Yeah, no, I, I mean, who is playing on the pitch? It's Kim Min Jae because he makes. Who, some... Okay, so who put him on? Who put him on? He's supposed to put him. Who? Nobody. He... What? What was Leroy Sané doing that that led him? So he... Leroy Sané couldn't play ninety minutes. He's one. No, I'm just saying. Dude, according to his tactics, he's a defender. He's one zero up. So he's like, okay, let's. Yeah. Just... 
Zach, you can't do this. Oh my Zach, you can't gosh. Do this. Oh my when when Coach does the same thing, we complain. Facts. We, we, have, to, we, we have we have to be consistent here. Look, he, 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 he did not do one thing right. But this dude actually put on Alfonso Davis, who put them ahead. So now you, you want to blame him because they fell asleep for two minutes in the game and gave up two goals? Well, 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 but this well, is a wait, guy. Wait, wait, wait. But this is guys prone to making mistakes yo, like that. Are, are you, yo, Marcus? Are you blaming Tuco for the loss? Is that who you're I'm saying, blaming? Yes, I'm saying. I am saying his substitution pattern is what led to Not them being defensively weak. That is what I'm and, saying. And I'm blaming. I'm blaming Newer. Okay. Who are you blaming, Zach? For who was supposed to be on Joseph Lou? Who was supposed to be on Joseph Lou? Though? Uh, uh, who was supposed to be on Joseph Lou? I have no idea. No idea. People are finishing me, bro. You're just you're just finishing me, bro. I have no idea. That's all I'm saying. But good teams find a way to win. Bad teams. Find a way to lose. No, you know what? Call, so you're calling Bayern a bad team? Well, no. in, well to be fair, to be fair, they have been bad this season. Yeah, they have, they have, bad. They have been bad this season. They, it's they, just, you know, they lost the Bundesliga by what, 10 points? 16. 16, god damn. <laughs> and I, I, against Real Madrid, I think they kind of dominated it from, from most of both matches and still... Well, the first match they tied. They shouldn't have tied that first match. And this one they lost when they had no business losing in two minutes. They lost both legs due to individual errors. That doesn't make them a bad team in the context of these two legs. Kind of call them a bad team. You, okay, to be fair, they haven't been a bad team in the, in the Champions League. They've been a bad team domestically. But in the Champions League, they have not been a bad team at all. He's got a point. He's got a point. At all. It's they, they lost due to individual errors at the end of the day. If you were Chelsea that was out there, like I can't, I can't, like Marcus always say, oh, the, the players, the, the coach set them up for success. Yes, Newer. Newer was doing exactly what we've known him to do until he Boom. Won. We can't using my same hold on, wait, wait, but using my same point, he didn't set them up for success with that with those substitution no, patterns but, after but, Alfonso no, no, Davis. But, but like he didn't he did not plan, then that's okay. I'll I'll, I'll I'll admit that he did not plan you. for the Thank attempt you. that uh Bayern, I mean Real Madrid would equalize. He thought he had Thank it in you. the bag. And I Thank think you. that is a mis huge uh he, yes. he um underestimated Real, Real Madrid equalizing. But like you cannot calculate for an individual mistake. Let's say Real Madrid scored off a off what? their own energy. Okay. Okay. You, you just said you can talk left right and you did your mistake. And yet you're blaming Neuer. Oh my God. Yes, because I blame Neuer. Me That's personally. I he did not calculate because well, the thing. I'm not blaming Tuchel. So here's the thing. I, you, I just have a. For not calculating for Real Madrid equalizing. Not that I can, I can blame Tuchel for Neuer's individual mistake. So, okay, I just have one question for you, and then we'll move on to speak about Dortmund. Um, just one question for you, specifically on your point about Neuer, right? So if if a, if a keeper is consistently facing as much pressure as Neuer faced throughout the entirety of that game, wouldn't you expect at least one or two mistakes? No, no. it's not his job, but no. no. Because I've seen that's it what I'm saying. I'm, that's what I'm saying. With the, with a team, with, 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 team. with guys as good like this, with with teams as good as like this, like wouldn't you expect? Like I, I... look, look as a goalkeeper, your number one job is to keep a clean sheet. Every yes. team that has ever progressed to the Champions League final, the keeper did not make no stupid mistakes that lost them the game or switched them into. They stayed consistent. This aberration from Newer is what at least okay maybe. Like uh, Zach can say, okay, that's not what lost them the game. What I'm that saying. was the point at which they lost I the mean, game. I mean, I mean, to my okay, okay, but here's my, but here's a, but here's an example to my point. Here's an example to my point, you right? Lose, you, can, you cannot go, you cannot allow them to equalize, make that mistake when you know that your main attack attacking threat is off the pitch. That's the okay, but, but here's time to make that mistake. But here's an example. Here's an example to my point. Here's an example to my point, right? They still had a chance. Well, they did not have a chance because of the substitutions that Tuchel made. There you go. That's assuming, what I believe. Assuming, 
that newer wouldn't make that mistake. So what, what is the difference here? It's a here I call that a straw man's argument looking at hindsight. How if, is that? But, but bro, you, you, cannot, you cannot say I'm making a straw man's argument if you're not arguing for who lost the game. Okay, Zach, who lost the game for them? I just said it. I you said... No. Wait, no, so wait, wait. Are you evenly... Wait, 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 wait. So are you evenly spreading the blame across all the players that were on the pitch at that moment? Me? Yes. Oh, yeah, you defend as a team. Okay, all right. That's the rule. There's so, your answer. There's your answer. I forget about that. You defend as a team. I'm pretty There's sure your that, answer. that's like literally Thomas Tuchel's number one rule in this. Bible. There's, your, there's the <laughs> answer, hey, and we'll hey, leave it there. That is facts, but Real, Real Madrid, Juju, like you give them an inch, they take a mile. You hey. may be right about that, but that doesn't mean you lose your edge when you give up a goal. That's what I'm saying. That does that does not give you an excuse. Oh, you, I mean... You, it's Real Madrid. But look, but look here. You said they were a bad team. You oh, in your head. Look, you both, you both said they're a bad team everywhere else. Them being a bad team everywhere else already tells you that if shit does not go according to plan, they're going to fold. I should have said a bad team. They make an individual mistake like that, they're, they, they're folding. Especially when you couple with the fact that Tuko has taken their main threat that can get them back or keep them back. Because the best defense is good offense. Keep them away from where you're defending. Not keep the ball against Real Madrid. Are Bayern a good defensive team? Is that what you're saying? No, but you oh, should they be They should have kept it. No, no this there's nothing Bayern could have done at that point to keep Real Madrid out. The only reason they kept Real Madrid out the entire game was newer. And once newer, that damn broke, it was over. It was over. Right, but here's my but here's my point, right? Right, right, right. Here's my point, right? They were they were bro, they were there, they were there hitting that hitting that damn with the highest supersonic drill they could find over and over and over and over and over again. At some point, the dam's gonna break. Bro. Is it not? No, no, no. This is the thing. If the dam breaks off a of golasso, I understand. But the, if the dam breaks because you cannot catch the ball that bounced in front of you, that is that is a human error. No wrong. That's, that's crazy. not. That's not that's an engineering crazy. error. That's, that's human crazy. error. That's not an error of design of how you define your defense. That's an error of who of of just that's, that's just like an anomaly. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Is it possible? Wait, but is it possible? Is it possible that they forced a mistake out of Noor? No. That's insane. even if they did. Look, look, look. Okay, even if they did, it Zero. is unacceptable to, for him to make that mistake. There's no way you can tell me that it was acceptable for Newark to not catch that ball. Okay. But, okay. but, That's but fair. He, that, he did not lose in the game on that play. His mistake didn't lose in the game. That's what I'm saying. It literally. Did not lose them the game. But it That's did it. give them the opportunity to lose the game. Obviously, because then they went in their shell and stopped and forgot how to defend for one minute. Not I mean, minute. Hey, listen, the guy, listen, the, guy I believe... that, the guy that's been keeping them in the game makes a mistake. All those other guys, their their well, confidence is gone. He needs help. He needs somebody to help. Listen, him. listen, listen. Look, he had it. He, wait, wait, he wait. Zach, to your point. Wait, 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 wait. To your point, Zach. He had it. I believe in if it's not broke, don't fix it. Tuchel tried to fix it, and then you got what you got. Come on, this, that's a strong. I keep saying that's a strong. It's not a straw man. Listen, bro. <laughs> it's not Listen, a bro. Substitute. If 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 <laughs> substitutions are made and you and you are and you are eating pressure like they were eating pressure after, bro. <laughs> Look, he personally I wouldn't have made all those changes. I mean, personally, made all those changes. personally, I agree with you. I wouldn't have made anything. The only thing I would have done is brought on Serge Gnabry like he's done, like he did. And if he wanted to take off Leo Arsane, I'm only doing it for an offensive move. I'm not doing it for a I defensive I don't know why player. you would bring up the guy who who lost them the first leg. I don't understand that. So That, that is what astounds me. He uh, brought I don't, on I don't Kim understand Jim. taking off Harry Kane either. I, I know that you've won the game. <laughs> But you still need at least one person that can score just in case. You need to have a plan B. One yeah. of them is off, you have no chance to score. I'm with Mueller and the guy who just scored. Like, it's not like there was nobody there that could score a goal. Mueller is 56. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. And you're over here blending for losing. Listen, fellas, listen, fellas. This, listen, fellas. I think our performance has already made this a Champions League episode, but there was another game. We need to discuss the other game. That being said, <laughs> Dortmund and uh, Dortmund and PSG played yesterday, and um, unlike you two, this played out exactly as I expected it would. Um, you know. Mbappe, you know, they kept that boy, you know, under lock and key. Dortmund bandwagon. I, I, did, did I not, or did I not say I was taking my talents to Borussia last week? No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. But that's on just, video, on the record. I'm just reminding the audience. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. I said I took my, I said where I, I said where I was taking my talents and I took my talents. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know, we're part of the yellow wall. You know, loyalty. Listen, 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 listen. My team is out, so I need somebody to support, and I'm with the yellow wall. You know, <laughs> we're with we're with the redemption story for Sancho. You know, that's a that's a former Manchester City young boy. You know, you know, let him let him win let him win a Champions League like his elders. You know, you know, man, you though. It'd be very upsetting. Can you imagine? <laughs> you let a player go on loan that was at your club earlier this year. They, when he goes on to win, he goes hey. on to win the champ, uh, the 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 uh, thing that you were competing in, in. Wembley. Yeah. Homecoming leaves with a Champions League. But look, I think I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. Facts, 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 facts. All right, but let's let's discuss this game. Let's discuss discuss this game. In terms of PSG's performance, um, so I have to ask you two, the people that thought that PSG was going through, were you surprised? A little bit, a little bit surprised, just a little bit. Um, Dortmund played well. I'll give them credit. They they took that game. They didn't allow PSG to really, um, do anything crazy. I just have to say. Kareem Adeyemi. Yeah. I mean, this is why I got to give Edin Terzic prop. Be- be- because, excuse me, if, if you if you watch how his team plays, they play like, it, they look like they play like your coach wants them to play, if that makes sense. Because not every team plays they don't defend. Like- they don't defend like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt, Matt Hummus had a masterclass. Yo, without that Matt Hummus masterclass, oh, Dorman's going home. No, no, I mean, no, it's it's not that um, they don't have players that, like, are defensive stoppers. No, they have offensive workhorses who work hard, like Ian Matson. He's not really a – that's why Post didn't really fancy him. Because he's not like a defensive, like, bully who's just going to – no. But On a side note, it's not fancy. To, you, have, you, you just when, have a lot of those guys. When it comes to trying to when, – when it comes to, like, playing multiple positions, being an attacking threat and coming back and defending and pressuring and doing a lot, they have a lot of players that can do a lot of those things. And Karim Adeyemi is just the tip of the iceberg because he's an all-out attacking player – who was like, I mean, he was basically the second, he was a left wing back out there on ha- Hakimi. I mean, I didn't see Hakimi this entire two games. I, I, I wondered if he was even playing out there. And then Nuno Mendes, my God, like, if we don't buy Nuno Mendes right now, when his stock is low, because he looked terrible. <laughs> Jaden Sancho, oh my God, rewrote his mind. Like, Nuno has to go back and practice how to play defense. So, but I'll take him right now when his cost is low because he looked terrible. But Chelsea needs a left back. Chelsea needs a left back. Anyways, um, yeah. So, um, but Kylian, Kylian Mbappe, he was Kylian, but I mean nobody else was much else. So there's not much anything else that he can be, if that makes sense. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. You said Kylian. Was Killian, but he can't be much more than that because nobody was much of anything else. <laughs> nobody was much of anything else. Yeah, I mean, who else played well? Uh, 
I mean, this dude had the game was the uh, was the play MVP. Hold on. Um, what's his name? He played in the he played he was the one that was defending for them. Let me just pull up the lineups real quick. Oh, so a defender was the best player on the pitch. Nah, he was not a defender. He was up front. Vitinha. Vitinha oh, was Vitinha was Vitinha was the MVP. Just... Yo, every, he was he was yo. <clears throat> Uh, Mbappe, Mbappe was not coming back at all for for to defend. And Vitinha was like, "Don't worry about it." At, he was running all over to to take it, right? take care of things. Oh, so when would he come back? Mbappe, no, Mbappe. I mean, stay up. They told okay, but you're right. You're right. Stay up, buddy. And he had all that extra energy. And let me tell you what he did with all that extra energy. Hold on now. He's let one man. Just... That's what. What did I say? He's oh gonna do Mbappe's things, but he can't do much more than that. And I just want that same energy because you, you listen. This is what y'all been telling me about Halan. Halan doesn't show up in big games. I'm looking at this person, and I'm looking at if uh-huh. if you're saying about this about Halan, you should be saying the same about Mbappe. My point Can about wait, Halan has Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo oh Silva, Pep Guardiola. Should I keep on going, Rodri, uh, the guy that hasn't lost it? All right. So, which one of those players are better than Messi and Neymar? Uh, all of them right now. Oh, good all God Almighty! Good there. God but, Almighty! Good God Almighty! Wait, good. Messi, I'm finished. I'm finished. Shags, go. I'm finished. I'm finished. Shags, just right go. Now. Shags, go. Shags, just Messi's go. Messi's in the MLS and Neymar is in. Shags, is Shags, just go. In Saudi. <laughs> all of them. Yo, um, first of all, I want to give Dortmund their props. Like, well played. Well well played. You're in the Champions League final. The story is written. And I am all in on Dortmund Unsung. lifting their first Champions League trophy. I am too. Unsung hero, Nicholas Fulkrug. Continue. Yeah, he was great in the first leg. Now, back to PSG. <laughs> <laughs> So PSG have now lost six out of seven of their semifinals in the Champions League. The one they won, to reiterate, was a one-legged tie, and they got to the final, and they lost. First of all, Mbappe... No, not he's not Mbappe. He is Mick Bappe and France. Mm-hmm. I never... He is on fraud watch. Mm-hmm. It's fraudulent. He mm-hmm. did not show up. He did not try. The only times Mbappe shows up is when he's surrounded by the best French French team of all time. When his team needs him the most, he disappears. I don't want to hear anything about Mbappe and France. Wait, wait, wait. To him. wait, 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 stop. Oh, wait. For one game? Two do games. Three Four games. games. Four games. Count the games. One game? No. Nah, uh, look, look, I cannot respect him. Bro. Super, I cannot respect Mick Bappe. scorers besides, like, Paul Palmer, there's very few. Who else plays, like, is up there scoring goals that doesn't have great teammates around them? I, can, I cannot. No, 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 no. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me cook. I cannot. Oh, no, point. No, no. Hey, let the man cook. Let the man cook. No. The, chef, the chef is cooking. In, in, in the Mick League punk. I no longer respect his Mick League on goals. I, I cannot respect his his, his yes. throwing. Yes. No. Because what, like, where was he? What was his stats? Goals. One game. You're going to kill him for one game. Come yes. on. Yes. No. No, he's Mbappe. Like you said, he's one of the best strikers in the world. What did he do? On a team of players who didn't really play very well. So they lost that game as a team. But it's not like Mbappe is trash and on fraud watch. The dude has scored the second most goals in all of Europe on a not that great team. I did not say he's trash. I said he's, he's on fraud watch. He's not even I said he put in a, I thought he went ghost twice. He's, 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 he's on the watch. He's on the watch. If he's he's on the watch. Then Saka should be what? 50 tons of shit below fraud watch. No, I, I know I, you did not try to you did not just try to compare Saka to Mbappe. That is of of course 
What, what's going on? Of course, Saka cannot be compared, but Mbappe in those last two games, what, what is this? Zero goals. No, you see, team. you see what you see what it is now. Killing Mbappe versus Dortmund in first leg. Killing Mbappe versus Dortmund in second leg. You see, you see what you're seeing. Oh, Mbappe that... did not show up for PSG when they needed him the most. Fine, this year he didn't in the semi final, but he's he not has on. never shown up in the in the Champions League either. He's made the Champions League finals and lost. But there's he an did. asterisk next to that final. And <laughs> what did he do in that final? He's oh the best player. Look, look, if Palmer drags us to a Champions League. It's okay. It's it's okay. You've made look, it. Look, look, if Cole Palmer drags us to the Champions League final. And then he doesn't produce in that final when he's the only player that good, and he's not the only player that's good. Then, that's uh, like, then come like, on. Mbappe, do you? Do, but can you admit though that Mbappe did not show up? He did not play well. But yes, one series for two games, and now he's on front watch. When he's well, played, well, technically he hasn't. He hasn't. He's well, had technically. A so I don't want to see. He hasn't per, per, uh, performed well for it. Not just this game, but the other six, the other six Wait, semifinals so and the so final I, he played in in the Champions League. Oh, he's he's so, wait, 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 wait. So I have a question. So he wait. Carry this. So, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have a listen. Three mouths. Even listen. Even even listen. Even outside of club achievements. Outside of the World Cup, what has Mbappe done outside of win the Mick League? Which is outside what? of the World Cup, what has he done besides the win the Mick League? Which is really, really hard to win. I'm just saying. Okay. Whoa, Zach, you're switching up now. You can't do this, Zach. You, can, <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot call them Mick League uh, and then say it's really hard to win, win the Mick League. The World Cup. The World Cup. He, he said besides the World Cup. Yes, besides, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm saying it's really hard to win. Yes. The World Cup. No, yes, the World Cup. The World Cup is what he, he bursted onto the scene with. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, now, we, I, I've oh. given that to him. Yes, yes. I, I understand wholeheartedly. And unfortunately, there are players that, due to the nature of their ethnicity, one, uh, aka one Erling Haaland, they may never see a World Cup. Now, oh. with that being with that being the case, we understand. What I'm saying is, he came, he won the World Cup, he burst onto the scene. We thought that he was about to go out and do all these great big things. He goes to PSG. To the World Cup. Okay. So what? What, a, what y'all are saying? Okay, sorry. Go on. Go on. Like that's really hard to freaking do. Go back it's to back. To was outside of the World Cup, what has he done? That's what I'm saying. I he's, understand his World Cup achievements, but to Sheck's point, to so, Sheck's point, he uh, had the best team around him. He had the best team around him, the best team in the world around him. Oh, he did not. Now, no, he did not. Not in that. So, so friends, so they were so, one of they were one of the better teams in that World Cup, but they weren't they weren't the best team. Like they barely squeaked past Belgium. So they weren't a favorite going into the World Cup. So what team was better they, than them? They like, weren't they were like they're on 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 like oh undisputed best team. No. Nah. They were not but a but favorite going into that World Cup. Them, I could argue Belgium was. I they had Belgium over them. I'm asking you, were they not a favorite going into that World Cup? I don't I don't know if they were favorites like that. Okay. I don't remember them being out and outright the best team, man. Don't worry, that's Google. Don't worry. Google it. I'm just, yeah, I'm just... That, that doesn't matter. Let's focus on what how how can you say Belgium are a better team than France? In that World Cup, okay. I thought they were. Really? They met in the semifinals and France barely squeaked by with a, a header from what's the guy from Barcelona? Umtiti. So no. so the, the team that has that won one World Cup final and reached another one is mm -hmm. worse than the team who never got past the, the semi final. Did no. they even make a semi final? At that time, that was the first time that France and Belgium were like rising like that. At that so time, when you say that time, what year are you? What what year are you talking about? When the, you say at that, the first World Cup they won, we the won year of the golden generation. But those that golden generation did not win shit. So by default, they they were not that good. 
Yeah, but at that time they were in the World Cup semifinals. <laughs> so but that doesn't distract I mean, from the fact that Mbappe has always been surrounded by some of the best players known to man at all times on that French squad. Which we, which we want to take because the, the discussion the discussion is not even about the discussion is not about uh, Mbappe and France. It's about Mbappe and PSG. It's right. about Mbappe and what had, he has done at PSG. Every single season there. That's all I'm saying. And you're you're absolutely right that he's been surrounded by some of the best players. But Shex, every great player we know has been surrounded by some of the best players we know. Ronaldo, Messi, Haaland. You can it would, it would go on for days. Harry Kane. He went to Bayern. Why? <laughs> so come on now. That's just such a big disservice to Mbappe. If outside, like we said again, outside of the World Cup, which we weren't even going to bring it to, outside of that, what has he really done apart from stat? That's the question. The That's the question. Besides league, um, nothing. But he's won his league at least. He's done that. So what do you want him to do? To like do? Really do you nothing. know how many times? Do you know how many times PSG has won that league in the in in the twenty first century? Do you know how many times PSG has won the Champions League ever? So it's on Mbappe now to change history. Oh yeah, they literally they literally signed him. But that's, but that's what they signed him for. That's what he got the extension for. Okay, but then that's on them. That's not on Mbappe. The dude is scoring forty five goals per season, bro. I cannot put in anywhere close to fraud watch. I don't right. care what. Zach, Zach, you can't. You cannot. You cannot tear up all your arguments about how. I'm sorry, Zach. Zach. You can turn up all your arguments about how Poch's achievement in, in, in PSG were not good, about how good Emery is, is of a coach. About, well, can, I, can I read my point? Because we, we let you get out your points. You cannot turn up about how, how good PSG were and how you supported them and how you expected Mbappe to show up with me and us and you agreed while Marcus switched up and then just to defend Mbappe for not showing up. He's not on front watch. I'm not gonna put him on front watch. And you don't have to. I, I did. You don't. I already put him there. Like I'm just saying, you cannot defend that performance from him. I'm, I did not defend show up. You expected I, him to show up, and where was he? The he was nowhere to be found. Defend that performance. You said I did. I, I never said I defended that performance. I said I'm not gonna kill him because of it. Like you are saying, oh, let's look at history. What I mean, else? You're the one. You're the one responding to you killing him. That's you defending him by yeah. default. Him on fraud watching shit, and I'm like, uh, there's, there's there's a whole eleven other players in that PSG team. Like nobody played well. Well, none of them is Mbappe. Really hard for Mbappe as the leader of the team should have played better. Well. Well. All those, all, where, where all those other players hit the post, and Mbappe should have scored. You know, I mean, you, you can say, like, like, like I said, with great ability comes great responsibility, as it should. But I am not even mentioning fraud watch and Mbappe. That is just Look, those... in my book. He will be, he will be Mbappe and fries. A too. player, a play, at least. No, I, this is what I'll say. This is the last thing I'll say. <laughs> at least, at least, Shags keeps things consistent. You. You put a player like Phil Foden on fraud watch, and you have a player like this that's just giving you nothing. And you, and, 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 you know what? Because I've seen him, I've seen, I've seen him, I've seen him with multiple renditions. I've seen him with multiple renditions. Go on this. I've seen him. Are you gonna let me? Are you gonna let me finish? I just wanted to ask one question. Name one thing, one step, something. That Phil Foden has done better than Mbappe. He wasn't, he wasn't talking about how Mbappe is better than Foden in any, or Foden is better than Mbappe in any way. If you let him finish, if you let him finish, his point was about consistency, not about who is what, who has what, done more. What he said was, what he let me rephrase what he said. He said, "I don't understand how you're putting guys like Phil Foden on fraud watch, and yet this guy." Mbappe. What is that implying? It's implying that Phil Foden is better than Mbappe. Am I wrong? No, it's not. Yeah. Yes, you're wrong. <laughs> it's implying that Phil Foden is doing his job, and yet you're putting him on fraud watch. Yet you have a guy like Mbappe that's not doing anything close to what he's supposed to be doing, and he's nowhere near the fraud list for you. That's lies. So yeah, we can move on. He's not doing. All right. 
It's not All right. All right. He must score 43 goals. All right. And with that, and with that, we've come to the end of this episode. You know, there was, there was, you know, we didn't get to the Champions That's League predictions. So other points to make. <laughs> we didn't get to the Champions League predictions. We'll get that to the next episode. This nope. episode is spicy. We need to end this up. We need to end that at some point, or else we'll keep going. We're already an hour in. So, with that, we appreciate you. Um, as we said in the beginning, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow um, mm. the Twitter, um, and keep up. You know, hit that bell on the subscription to keep up with our uh, updates. We are going to be testing live streaming, so when we do start that up, the link will definitely go out in, before we get started on the Twitter, on the YouTube. So definitely hit the bell for subscriptions, I mean, for notifications, so you definitely are up to date with that. Um, and as always, we appreciate you if you've been with us for this long. Like, comment, share with your friends, family, all that good stuff. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Peace. Peace.